Good morning. Nice stars. Uh, rainbow. <laughs> oh. We are at the cliff of Mohir. Super beautiful day, super sunny. I will go for some walking on the cliffs. You will see the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. And all the breathtaking view. The cliffs of Mohir was super windy. We have the chance to share some facts with you for these awesome cliffs. So first of all, they are located on the western coast of Ireland in County Clare. Their height is about 214 meters or 702 feet above the Atlantic Ocean. The length is approximately 8 kilometers or 5 miles along the coast. The Cliffs of Moher are home to a variety of seabirds and bird watchers often visit the area to observe these species. There is also the Cliffs Moher Visitor Experience uh, located near the cliffs, it, it provides information about the geological and natural history of the area. And it's a very popular starting point for visitors. The cliffs are primarily made up of shale and sandstone, and they were formed during the Upper Carboniferous period, approximately 320 million years ago. Wow! The Auburn's Tower is situated at the highest point of the cliffs. It was built in 1835 by Sir Cornelius O'Brien as an observation tower for tourists. It offers panoramic views on the surrounding landscape. Awesome. It's so beautiful. So beautiful, my God. See that view? Atlantic Ocean, it is oh the colors of the sea, the colors of the sky. A bit windy, that's why my hair looks like that, but the view is my god. The cliffs of Mohir are one of the Ireland's most visited natural attractions, drawing hundreds of thousands of visitors each year. The cliffs have been featured in several films and TV shows, including Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and the Princess Bride. The cliffs are designed as a Special Protection Area SPA, for wildlife and are part of the Barren and Cliffs of Moher UNESCO Global Geopark. Here you can see the Aubrey's Tower that was mentioned earlier at the highest point, 
so it was used for observation. Visiting the Cliffs of Moher offers not only breathtaking views, but also a clips into the geological and ecological richness of the region. So here are all the rules if you want to visit so you know them in advance. <laughs> and now there is the unofficial part about this view. The cliffs are said to be named after a fort called Modar or Mohar which once stood near Hag's Head at the southern end of cliffs. In Irish mythology, Mothar was the site of a great battle between the mythical Irish hero of Hion, Mac Camhail, and a rival giant. The weather at the cliffs can be quite variable with mist, rain, and strong winds common. Visitors are advised to dress warmly and be prepared for changing weather conditions. Beautiful, beautiful! <laughs> so now I'm about to buy a house here somewhere. I'm looking for the builders. Imagine you wake up and you see this every day you wake up. Nothing for sale. If there is no opportunities, we can create one. I think also it feels a bit hotter now, maybe because we walked. Or it's not that windy now. Yeah, yeah. The cliffs hide a series of sea caves along their base formed by the relentless pounding of the Atlantic waves. However, accessing these caves is extremely dangerous and is not recommended. We had to wake up 5 o'clock. We had to take the bus, what, 6.50? But it is absolutely worth it. Absolutely worth it. So it was P.S. I love you. I had scenes here. Harry Potter, right? I can actually hear the waves here. Right side of the coast is the coastline. Yeah. Oh, and a plug here. Some birds over there. I'm not sure you can see them. Can you hear the sound of the ocean? It's crazy. <laughs> oh.
Nice soup for Vasiliki and nice salmon from me. Tradition. Vasiliki is more traditional for them. And that's a nice pub. We stop after Moher Cliffs and then we will go back. We're here at the coastline. Nice. <laughs> Me and the ocean guys <laughs> Nice and beautiful So, 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 super, super nice, super, super nice. I will buy a house here. Wow! Did you see the wave? Here in Galloway, Galloway, for a quick coffee to look up a little bit because we look like that. <laughs> We checked out from the hotel, we had very good time, and now we we'll have uh, we will go for some walk. And Vasiliki will abandon me. Well, I'm not doing any intentionally. I need to go because yeah, her flight is much earlier than mine. So I will share some time with you guys. That's why you are there for me. 
and I'm the, I'm here for you. <laughs> okay, are you gonna reference friends as well? To be friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, friends. Thank you. Oh, my friend, our friends. Uh. St. Patrick's Church. Visiting times. Uh, let's go in to see it has some kiosks there. And here are the gardens. Huh? This way or this way? The left. There is a really, really amazing uh, playground. Oh, nice! Everything wooden, huh? Uh huh. Over there. Looks like a head of a dragon. Yeah. Even there. The shield. Super, super cool. Mm hmm It is. Indeed. So they have... Crowded day. Hmm. They have the kiosks today. Probably because it's Sunday. Oh. Maybe, yeah. See, I thought there was an event here. Yeah, uh, well, may maybe it's an event. <laughs> Hey, you should go to the church. Yeah. Light a candle. I will light a candle just for Sophia. Two doggies with beautiful chambers. Chihuahua. Okay, and we are here at the kiosks. Jewelry, handmade probably. Caramel, chocolate. Looks nice to spend the day, a little bit to have a look. Nice, eh? Chocolate here. Jewelry. Cards. Oops. No, 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 so beautiful. I love miniatures. Oh, some mugs here. Healing coil. Dublin Castle. So you see some castles in uh, Dublin and not only uh, Okay. 
So there's three stories of here. Um, Dunwood Castle, Castle has a rich castle. history dating back to its constructions mm -hmm. in the early 13th mm -hmm. century. It has served various purposes over the centuries, including as a fortress, royal residence, and as the seat of British government administration in Ireland. The castle features a mix of architectural styles, including medieval, Georgian, and Victorian elements. The Reco Tower, the only surviving tower from the medieval Norman castle, is one of the most recognizable structures. Dublin Castle has played a significant role in the Irish history, particularly during the struggle of independence. The Anglo-Irish Treaty, which led to the establishment of the Irish Free State, was signed in the castle in 1921. garden. Ooh, looks nice. The castle is surrounded by open. beautiful gardens that are open to the public. The Dublin Garden the in particular is a peaceful here. spot with a pond a sculpture. Dublin Castle is home to the Chester Beatty Library which houses a remarkable collection of manuscripts, rare books and artifacts from around the world. There are also other exhibitions and museums on the castle grounds. The castle has been featured in various films and television series, contributing to its iconic status. Its historic ambience and diverse architectural features make it a popular location for filmmakers. Today, Dublin Castle is used for various events, conferences and cultural activities. It continues to be a focal point in Dublin's civic and cultural life. Visiting Double Castle provides a fascinating glimpse into Ireland's history and architectural evolution over the centuries. Now we are in Angarda Shohana Memorial Garden that honors the members of Angarda Shonana who were killed in the service of the state. The names of the members of Angarda Shonana who were killed are inscribed in stone within the garden. Additionally, a specially commissioned glass sculpture commemorates the sacrifice of the families left behind, and a specially commissioned stone sculpture is a tribute to all deceased members of Vanguardia Johanna, the Royal Irish Constabulary, and the Dublin Metropolitan Police.
Do you need any more? Photo shooting is in action. <laughs> I think this could be my garden. Hmm? That could be my garden. Uh huh. Huh? You agree? You agree, my friends? You should agree. <laughs> Today is the last day, so we need, we will see, some nice things around, but just walking, you know, have some good time. Vasiliki is living cars. She had a very good time with you. And with you. It's been a pleasure. Until next time. Yeah, exactly. You may see her again because we're doing nice plans. So oh, now, tuned. stay tuned and I will be just me and you. The best company. Now, so it's 1.30. And we need to spend another six or something hours together. So we need to.